PNG's sole air navigation service provider, formerly known as the PNG Air Services Limited, is now operating under the new name New Sky Pacific Limited or New Sky Pacific. The change of name along with a new branding logo in line with the advancement in modernization that the organization is undergoing. New Sky Pacific Managing Director Captain Ted Parkey excited at the prospect and the future of the program. There's a lot of things that have happened to get this to this point and um, our modernization program has delivered some of the best technologies uh, that the, the world has to offer, offer in terms of uh, air traffic management. The rebranding, part of the strategy in place as the company looks to enhance the safety in aviation concept by providing safe and seamless air navigation services for aircrafts operating within and through PNG airspace. A lot of those equipments now have been, uh, uh, in any case, have become obsolete like uh, non-directional beacons and uh, uh, VORs and a lot of the communication towers have been uh, uh, disbanded to the point where everything is now satellite based. Civil Aviation Minister Lekwa Gura, himself a former pilot, has also said that with the broader operational and infrastructure improvements made through their modernization program initiated in 2013, the PNG could be a leader in the region. This sentiment highlighted by Captain Parkey. That is one of the reasons or intents behind the, the name itself as well. So uh, there's a lot of small Pacific Island nations uh, that haven't got the capability or the capacity to manage their own airspace. So, but as I say, that's down the track. Regionally, New Sky Pacific's satellite-based technology, the Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast System, or ADSB, gives PNG a superior edge over its Pacific neighbors with regards to safe and efficient air traffic management. Definitely there is a need for you know, greater support and uh, funding uh, because this entity, they, they provide um, a communication, navigation and, and surveillance as well as uh, air traffic management of uh, uh, air traffic that uh, fly in the Papua New Guinea airspace. Despite the ongoing funding challenges, this is seen as a step forward for Papua New Guinea. An official grant commissioning will be hosted in 2021 following full completion of New Sky Pacific's remaining activities.